Oopsies, it's me, Donnie Bon Bonnie. Welcome back to your ASMR session. I got some new lights. Oh, I'm sorry if this is red. Sometimes it happens, or like in certain lights, and then it goes away. Because I usually twist around my eyebrows, so oh, hopefully it's not too noticeable. I have to change the paint color in that wall behind because whenever I do this kind of video like I want the light to be seen behind me and then the light shines in that red wall and it bounces back as red and then the red pronounces on me so if I like change it to a different color is that a mosquito? Anyway, um, there are um, new lights I got um, that have uh, white, greens, and blues in them so I thought okay now I have like almost 500 lights behind me like I keep adding on lights and originally going to print out a bunch of pictures of people's outfits, but I was like, let me just flip through Instagram, look up the hashtag Coachella, and see some peeps. I got like 50 different, literally 50, um, let's scroll through there, 50 different pictures, um, to scroll through and judge, and, um, I don't like the word judge, it sounds like <laughs> snooty, you know, um, so we're just gonna call it as it is and say, Excuse me, I don't know what is in my throat, like there's a lump in my throat or something. So, if you get interrupted by um, clearing the throat, that's why, we're, like, in this case, I would never ever do, like, <clears throat> you know, and leave it in a video, I would usually cut it out, so. If you say cut out, So this one is by Giorgio Garai. So these are all on Instagram, so I'm just going to list their usernames. And they all had the hashtag Coachella. I'm not even sure. Like, some of them were in, like, Paris, France, and they still hashtag it Coachella. So I'm not sure if Coachella is everywhere, but... Summary. They hashtag it, so I'm going to critique it. If they didn't go to Coachella, then I'm still going to critique it because it looks like a Coachella outfit. Okay, so this one is giving me pirate vibes, all right? Boy vibes. All right. So, um, what do I have to say about this one? I don't know. It's um, not my favorite, to be honest, because I feel like let me take a good look at it again. I feel like the shirt should be tucked in, and like I don't like the hairstyle and I don't like the shades. Like he's better off getting an eye patch, you know. And those shoes, they just don't. I'm sure he didn't intend to look like a pirate, but it's giving me pirate boy vibes, so I just feel like, like, even the background doesn't suit it. It's like, where's the sailboat, you know what I mean? Like, where's the parrot on your shoulder? Like, give it all you got. I don't think this one really, um, did that for me. I don't think it really, um, vibed with his, um, whole appeal of what he was trying to do. Um, that's just being is by Victoria True. Everything about this outfit is just wrong. I don't know. Okay. I just, I don't like it. I, I think she just tried to look like she was going to do like tennis, but like that top right there does not work with her. Okay. It looks like she just slapped on some green highlighter on her 
dress. I mean, it just looks like and those shoes I'm really not a fan of. They look like platform boots and the fact that she kind of blended it with her green socks is just a bit too obnoxious and that random I don't know what that is on one wrist is a watch, another wrist is a like you can barely see it but there's like a a thing that you hold your hair up with or something. It just does not work. The pants, she's Moroccan, but the top is just like random. And that necklace, no. And, and the hairstyle and the shade of lip and everything, it just does not match. Like, she was better off going with like a, the same color lip. Like, she might as well be obnoxious and blend all those green colors. You might as well do the green on the on the face as well. Like put a green highlighter, or green shades, you know, in different shoes, then it might have worked, but that top needs to be changed. It just looks like she's like trying hard to make it work, but it's just failing epically. Do you know what I mean? And don't get don't get me wrong, I mean like people wanted this video, people wanted me to spill the tea. Like people love these kind of videos where I just give it all I got. sit on the chair and judge the red carpet runway outfits, whatever. That's my mode right now, so you know what? I'm just gonna say it like it is. I'm not gonna hold back. I'm gonna put in the title Honest Opinions, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you. This one's giving me faux, uh, faux um, imitation, like Phoenix, like this is just not working. I don't know. I, I feel like it's so corny that like all these girls have these like fringes Where's the other half? Like, it's all black, like, you're just gonna be, like, a bird and then not resonate on the rest of your outfit. I feel like it's kind of lazy. It, it just shows a lack of effort. It shows elegance and it looks great, don't get me wrong. I mean, black matches with pretty much everything, but I just feel like this didn't work. This didn't serve the looks that day. And the, uh, environment she was in for this picture it matches because she put the right filter. However, I'm not feeling the vibe of this look. Maybe because I haven't seen the front of it. Like, maybe she was just posing and like, the back looks cool, but like the front probably looks better, if I'm honest. So, I, I just, I mean, nice booty and all, but like, I'm not feeling this. And, you know, the, the legs and the heels, they look that, the figure is great and all, but it's just like, I feel like because the figure is great, she's hiding it, like, in the top somehow. I don't know if it's, like, an insecurity thing. Oh, and now that I look closer, it's actually, like, a black skirt with, like, black, so long, um, uh, socks. Actually, it's not black pants. I thought they were black pants. But I'm just not feeling that. This one I really liked, and I don't think the dog went well with it, like, I'm gonna be honest. This is by Zaya the Cavalier, um, and maybe it is a doggy Instagram, I'm not sure, um, but like, minus the dog, if you just showed us this whole outfit, I would be like, yes, you know, it looks great, and all. Um, I think most of these pictures are just for, like, photography purposes, like, they wanted photography part to come out rather than the outfit itself, you know, the outfit just happened to be a part of the look set, but, um, the blue eyes and everything, the, the blush and bronzing, the lip color and everything, the eyebrow color and all, it's so natural looking, <coughs> and it looks great with the whole outfit itself, you know, it's not too obnoxious, but it's still flashy in a sense where it's like giving you autumn vibes. the appeal that it's going for. Um, I think it was maybe a bit too pumpkin patchy, like, girl, Coachella was in June, right? And you're looking like you're going to the Corn Harvest Festival in November or something, I don't know. But, um, it just felt like 
maybe I'm not overdone, but try too hard to look like. Because don't you know, like most of these outfits for Coachella have that certain look, like they're trying to go for a southwestern vibe, and it's just a bit off-putting because it's like everyone's trying so hard to do the same look, and there's like a certain appeal, like even the men, like they'll wear certain like shorts that like go up and are like tight. I, I just don't understand it. Like I feel like you don't have to pressure yourself to try too hard to make a certain look happen, or like some of them look like aliens because of the they're close to I don't know New Mexico border, or whatever. But um. think it wasn't too much like I think there's a green belt and a black bracelet like you know in the headpiece you know it's nice and all it's not too much like she didn't have to put too much thought into this and just the natural waviness of the hair and adding it to the dog was cute on top of that this is one of my favorites you know but I had to say something some critique this is by Alina Dachiar oh in Heidelberg Germany girl you didn't even try you did not even try on this look. I think the background is doing you more justice than you itself. And the background looks like a wedding, but you're not even, like, you just showed up like, oh, I almost made it late to the wedding, so I'm just gonna wear my jeans. And I know what you're trying to show. I know what you're trying to show, but that shouldn't be the focus, okay? The focus should be the outfit, right? So we're gonna, we're gonna critique it as it is. Um, I believe the color suits for the occasion, the lime green, and kind of crochet would get top over that, the knitting, but, and I see some like little bracelets or something. If we look closer, upon inspection, not upon inspection of that, but upon inspection of the bracelet, you see that there? And then the, like the little chain. Oh, doesn't she look like the Kashmir side? How about that girl? Like, Kashmir side! Like, she's gonna say that, like, jump through the screen if I don't like her outfit. Like, Kashmir side! How about that? Well, you are outside. <laughs> At least I think you are. But yeah, it's kind of like a carefree look. I like it, you know? Like, this is another one of my favorites because it's like, you don't have to put too much on. It's just, you're in the middle of the desert, like, in the heat, you know what I mean? So it's like, you just need to be comfortable and not overdo it. Like, sometimes I wonder how people do their photos and all, and, like, they're not sweaty because they're wearing, like, everything, like, they're doing the most. Um, but I think the preferable outfit would be to wear everything and then slowly, as time goes on, start taking off other parts and then other parts look better with other parts, And if that makes sense. This is by Amy Fuchsia. Um, I... I know what you were trying to get at, but it's, it's a bit dark, and like I said, it just looks like very warm, like I would just be dying in the heat, like all that black colored clothing, and on top of that you have the big old leather looking boots, and the jean shorts, and the jacket, and all that, I think there's even a bag she's probably wearing, I'm not sure, but it's just like too much um, it suits her but at the same time it's like what is you doing you know what I mean like I don't know I don't understand maybe I'm just looking at it differently but I don't understand this look personally like the jacket it actually threw me off because it does not vibe with that lace Wise, I guess it looks okay, but the I don't know why they're obsessed with the lime green. That really throws me off. It doesn't really work. Like it works, but it doesn't work. I don't know. I guess that's the point of a Coachella outfit. I just don't like it. 
like I have to say more as a whole I don't like it I get the logic behind it and the style but as a whole like when you look at her you're like like I don't like what she's wearing I don't know why like it's just that's the first impression Robert Baxter <laughs> okay this one is like giving me that um nasty tennis performer look again but like the fur threw me off and the front pouch is like are you gonna go for on a marathon run or are you gonna go shopping in Paris France like what are you gonna do are you gonna play some racquetball and then that that dirty look she's given it's like and again, the lime green, I just really, the neon colors are really, I think that was a thing this year, the neon. I think that was like their kind of theme. But the front pouch and all that, like it just, oh, and the choker necklace, I don't know, like with the spikes, like spikes, fur, and tennis outfit don't match, especially when you mix it with um, that front bag pouch on your waist. Like it just looks ridiculous and I need, I know you gotta carry your things. But I feel like if you just remove that pouch and put like a tiny black handbag, it would have made the look and then remove that stupid choker necklace and those ponytails. I just don't like it. If you went with a more like traditional look, it might have went better. But I like the green nails though. She got that lime green nail. That looks good. And look at people in the back posing. Oh my god, look at this person. She looks like she's dying in this heat. She looks like when am I going to go home and get out of here? I mean, she, uh, this is Alessandra Falcon in Velodromo Paola Borsellino. Okay. Um, or she's going to do a catwalk on the runway. I mean, she looks like she's dying of heat and she's, she's just like getting papped outside and she's like late to her appointment or something. I'm not feeling this one personally. It's too flashy for. I think it's even a designer. It looks like Prada or something. Or Gucci. What is? Let me look at the belt. No, I'm not. I'm really not sure. But it looks a bit much. Great for the physique, however, and the the the, the contour is popping. Okay, but again, it's not for good job, in my opinion. The Boho Festival's account posted this one, and I don't know, I'm just not personally a fan of the black outfits. I think it is too hot for that, and um, this is a bit too much like a red carpet look. It's not something, again, the fringes really bugs me off. Like, it is an amazing, amazing outfit. Some hair gel in there or something. It looks dirty. 
see this look, I'm just like, did you run some scissors down a dress real quick and, I don't know, this one I thought was Kesha. <laughs> I actually like this look, and it suits her complexion and the red hair and all. I don't see the bottom half. It looks like it's hugging her a bit too much, but um, this one I can go with, and the hair color really does vibe with that, like, cow, cowgirl western look, um, and the necklace, and the kind of um, animalistic vibe of it, even the background, it really looks cool. Like if this thing comes loose, those puppies will come loose, you know, down the middle. Like, boom. So um, just be mindful when you do that and you're around people that it is secured, okay? Oh, even the nails, like everything about it, it looks like natural, but like it belongs there, like it's a part of the look. I'll be honest though, those three stripes are a bit much. If she just had maybe one, like on the forehead or something, it probably would better rather than covering the face and looking scary because this look actually can work. But again, the fringes, but it's not obnoxious. It, it's just like hugging the, the body, you know. But I think if this was a bit tighter, it would have worked because it looks like it's just like even the bottom part, maybe tighter top and wider bottom, I don't know, without like hugging Maybe it's just a pose. I can't tell, but... Tara Kelly Music in LA posted this one. Hair, face, legs for days, but I'm not feeling the outfit itself. It's just, um, too... Um, jean, jackety. Um, again, I get it, but... Especially the top um, belt, like the jean belt. It's just like messy. It doesn't work. If you remove the belt, I think I would have said A OK and maybe different colors because I'm just, the colors are not vibing with the look, like the hair and the face look more dress ready rather than I'm just going to step out in jeans. And the background threw me off too. Love Dream posted this one. This is just lazy. I mean, it's just like literally that and a pair of earrings and put the hair up. That's it. And maybe a spray tan. It's just, um, it's easy, effortless, but I think it's even that's too much. Like, isn't the sand gonna? Like, I feel like you needed something smaller. And she looks tiny in, in size and stature, so I feel like this was to make it more more large, but it's like, did you put a kitchen tablecloth and wrap it around yourself and call it a day? I mean, I feel like Rusul.al in Toronto, Mississauga. Are you going out to the restaurants? I mean, like, I don't get it. This one does not. Like, it's like she's not even going there. And I don't think she even intended to. I think she just hashtag Coachella for attention. Well, you got it, girl. But, yeah. Every, 
everything looks kind of nice and fancy so it's like um, she's gonna get like her outfit dirty in like two minutes if she actually went to Coachella like this just does not speak Coachella to me at all it just speaks like I'm better than all of y'all get out of here <laughs> Mary Shionista Brookville okay um, this one I actually really like. For some reason, it reminded me of, like, a newspaper. <laughs> I don't know why, like, the jacket and the dress, like, the print kind of reminded me of that. But the, um, the colors and all, they really do vibe with all that. And I, I like that random, uh, etching on the leg, like, right there. Whatever that is. The shoes, everything, the bag. See, that's, that is just and it matches to her outfit. It doesn't even look like she's wearing that bag on her waist. But the hair, everything, lip color, the, the kind of diamond looking stuff parting down the middle of her hair and between her eyebrows and the jewelry and the belt and all that, they all really work well together. And this is, this is a look I would go for for the, those occasions. And even the jacket doesn't look like it's gonna make you sweat in a thousand degree weather. So I would this is like the best one so far. Good on you, Mary. Good on you. <laughs> I've Andra British Summertime Festival Hyde Park. I am not really a fan of this pose. I don't know why people do it. I just feel like you look probably bigger than you are, like taller. And it just has an odd This one, no, absolutely not. This does not work. This does not match. That does not work with the blue jean short. It is too fringy. It is showing too much. It is not good, okay? Um, I feel like the hair and the, like, the lip and the shade and the top would have worked. Maybe even the necklaces. If you kind of get as soon as you get to the pants, it's like, nope, stop right here. And they always have those rips in the jeans that I cannot stand. I never like those. I don't know why. But, um, anyway, this one, I could have went with. It looks like paint dripping down him on the top and the shades as well. I thought it was that guy from RuPaul's Drag Race, I forgot his name, it looks like him. I think his drag name must be Asha or something. But this works, it's tight, form-fitting, and it looks pretty cool. And he was just, it's J. Michael 1106, the last one was EJ Nation. Um, and he said, he definitely dresses like he's going to Coachella, so this wasn't even for Coachella, so I give him props for that. <sighs> this one is by It's Maria Valero. Um, I like this one, however, this is more like of an everyday look. It's effortless, but it works. You know, it's a pretty uh, cool one. Not much to say about it, because it's literally just a simple look, but it works. 
Lorenzo underscore Corone. <sighs> this is a difficult one because it's like, I think it works because he tucked in the shirt. Like, had he not tucked in the shirt and had that, like, belt thing sticking out, it would not have worked. It would have just looked like he's just going, like, as a tourist somewhere. Um, and I like the pant that is above the Gypsy underscore soul underscore founder in Den Pasar Bali, Indonesia. This is a good one. Had she went to the event, this would be a preferred look. Um, that hippie cheek vibe. And uh, really no complaints about it here. Um, that would be an ideal look. Again, it's kind of like a stereotypical Coachella look, but nonetheless, it Lauren Dislodge. She's like, I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> it's like my grandma made this for me and I'm just gonna go. <laughs> like lazy lounging around look. Um, I don't like that this is posed on a wicker chair. I mean, she looks like the wicker chair. So it's like, oh, you gotta have a contrast in photography and go elsewhere. Like it just looks like you're hanging out at your grandma's house because you This one I was like, did she get like blue acne on her face or something? Like, I don't like the whole thing. I think it was a bit too much covering on the face with that blue stuff. And this, what the heck? Like, are you gonna get arrested? Like, I, I just didn't get it. Um, too much chain, too much stuff on the forehead. If you took out the chain and the forehead stuff, um, I would say go. Sanjita Dattani in Ubud, Kianyar, Bali. No. Just no. Look at her leg. Like, I'm gonna hashtag this Coachella even though I'm not going. Just for a like, huh? What on earth is that thing? Anything but, like, right above the belly button and below is a disaster waiting to happen. It just looks like a wrinkled up curtain.
This reminds me of like Brooke Candy in the old days. Like, no, no, just no, no to this whole thing. Um, like, if you chose. Sarah Kelly, The Label, in Palm Desert. I like this. They're just having fun with it. <laughs> Feature my in. And go, go, go. That's funny. But that works. That works. They're just two friends having fun, really. Or sisters, I don't know. That's pretty cool. I like it. It's saying If she removed the pizza, it might have worked. And I'm not sure how it looks when she st stands up. I'm not a fan of those shoes, though. Those shoes are like my daily running to the store kind of shoes. I don't like it. But I like the outfit. Even with the ugly, hideous neon. I think the pink hair makes the look, though, really. It's casual. It's cool. No. This is not a go job. Like, just because you put a headpiece does not mean, look at her. <laughs> look at her grinning. Like, she's like, yeah, I put this headpiece. I'm gonna label it go job. Girl, you know you were at your whoever this is wedding and you just wanted to get some attention, whatever. Okay, you are at a wedding. You are not at go job. This is not go job. Go job underscore fan page. Um. I really don't like this one, like the top and the bottom, like I don't get it, it's like golden flower, I think it's too much flowers, I think there's can be too much of anything, it's just all flowery, 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 I really don't like that one, it's just too much, I feel like the, like purple would have worked better, it's just too boring and plain. If she kept the hair and the face and the rest of the flowers, but like when she started adding the glitter on this part, no, I say just remove that. It would have looked much better. It's a bassy kind of theme. New underscore day underscore two underscore shine. Um, no, just no. That bell does not work with that <laughs> granny looking stitching. This does not work at all. And that police looking hat, what is that? Well, I'm about to police this outfit and say you're under arrest for that hideous. No, just. And you can see the bra underneath. It's just messy. And those random shoes, they're not even like, what are those? Coach or Supreme? You're just like right next to the flowers. Like, this will make me look better. No, it, it makes it look worse, okay? It would have looked better behind the prison bars. <laughs> I love this one. I'm just gonna say this is my favorite because it's so random. Big Daddy Q1. Get ready. You know you just... This was like a Halloween costume picture you took like five years ago and you're trying to say that it is... It looks like gladiator plastic. Maybe the watch looks nice, but that's about it in terms of the outfit, if I just critique the outfit itself. He looks like he didn't want to be there. Arms crossed, like... 
he's like, he looks like, can we just get this over with? Can we just go home? I don't even think he wants to be there, honestly. But this was actually a supposed Coachella outfit, so I give him credit for trying. Coachella underscore fashion underscore something, I can't see, oh, something. Um, I like this one. It's, um, kind of like oriental. Um, and I like that girls are actually trying at least putting, like, something in the middle, like a belt. But I, I feel like it's very different because of the colors and the contrast. Like, it, it's not that simple of a look, but it still works. Like, I like the dress, but... That could just uh, showing a simple a top. I love the top. I love the shirt. Actually, this looks really sexy and it looks really warming. It looks really cool in the hat and the shades. I like that one. Ilona Kosyuk in Soki, Russia. Um, yeah, this is a good look. It's like a cowgirl kind of hat and uh, white. I mean, a typical look. It works. It's not frivolous, but it works. A police. Everything about this. Uh, no. <laughs> like, did you get stranded? Like, hey, she looks like she's vacationing in New York and she just got dropped off here and stranded. What are those pink boots with those bluish, weird looking jeans? No. Um. It works. Again, I get the logic, like the cheetah print hat and the pink and the jean and the black bag, but it's like, it almost doesn't suit, like, where she's standing. It just looks like you got stranded somewhere. And we're looking for the nearest exit or, like, help or something. I like the jacket. I'll give her that. Um, Magic Star. I'm not a fan of the f material of the top and the bottom. Like, if you look closely, you put closer inspection. The material looks kind of like velvety. I don't know why I never liked velvet. Um, and then when you mix that with crochet, it's like... But, um, I like the abandoned piano in the back. And the blue hair, I'm really not a fan of. Yeek, Songketo. This one is hilarious. The one on the left looks like... Just underscore junior. Alright, um... He looks like he's about to call up a cab ride or go to a soccer game or something. I like it, but at the same time I don't because it's like... It's something you can typically wear on a regular day, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you just want to post the designer and that's about it. But those white socks do not work. Show those legs on you, okay? Not right now. Show those legs. And put down the dang phone was on her phone nowadays. Rusty reconstructed. <laughs> that look is rusty and it needs reconstructing. Okay. Ironic because that's your username. What in the abandoned alien is going on? I mean, that top does not match with those pants, first of all, because of this hot mess here. And those shoes. Are you going for a jog or an event? What is going on here? And then that randomness on the top that looks like a bunch of blueberry ice cream. I see the gold in the green of the jacket and how it matches with kind of the shoes and the gold going on in the band. But overall, as a look, it just looks like... No. If you thinned out the That's 
Roma. this one again I am not understanding the crochet but if I have to judge as an overall appearance I like it and the fact that she added the drink so casually here without trying to or to make it a part of her look was nice for a change purple and a bit of green it works oh she even has the purple brows on the lip I mean it really works in this case purple green alien queen <laughs> Moonshine the label. No, just everything about this is no. It looks like she's going on a killing spree. Like it just does not work. And that random thing over her face, it's like no. And the chain, no. And the crooked leg. Girl, you look like you're gonna break your leg. It looks like you're gonna break your hip if you try to like pose anymore. It just does not look good. And the red bandana, no. Take off the mask, the banana, the chain. Even then, I would say no. And those boots, where do they get those boots from? It just doesn't look good. Chance scoop. This one I like because they really didn't care. You could tell they're grown and they're like, well, we're not even going to try. We're just going to put together a few things and then call it a day. They're just having fun with it really looks like a horrible combination of sorts, but it, the fact that they're having fun is like making it work, so I don't care. Myra Cortez in India, California. This one works because it's like she can make it work, okay? Um, again, I'm not a fan of that down camera kind of pose. However, um, the fact that she has those big She's making it work like it's forming to her. So it, it just works. And uh, the color does not work on her though. It really doesn't. Midnight underscore in underscore Africa. Oh, I like that name. Midnight in Africa. Yes. Everything about this, I would have to say yes to. And it definitely works. Like the disco kind of ball. XLSX. I don't like this at all. It looks like Karuchi Tran, <laughs> if I'm honest. Uh, the shoes do not work with any of this. Are you going on a Valentine's Day event or something? And then you add like the silliest looking belt and chain ever and the just random tie-dye pants. I don't like it. It just does not flow as much as I think. Again, I understand the concept. And at first glance, you're like, oh yeah, she's going to go job. But then, like, if you really have to be honest and critique the outfit as a whole, it's like, not a fan. Just saying. Christopher Oskate. Um, what is going on here? She's just having fun with it. She's not even serious about it. It obviously doesn't work, but <sighs> credit for trying. Not much to say about that one. I'm just not a fan of that. Magical music festival. Absolutely not. The car behind you makes it work, but other than that, it looks like you gotta have swim trucks and ACDC shirt and the most random flip flops to go with that. You're going to ice cream shop like that's that kind of look like you just got back from the beach and you're going to get ice cream like and you found some random dude's car and pretend like it's yours but that look like the fact that these two really do not match at all color wise they do but scheme wise they really don't maybe they do upon second glance i don't know 
but that's pretty much it. Um, that was all 50, and if I'm being honest, most of them were allotments. However, I understand the point, and it's not like everyone is a fashion designer or understands the color scheme or all that. Um, but like, the most important thing is the color, the way it forms to your body, and the accessories, how you accessorize. There's either too much accessory or too little. And you also have to think about um, not only the color um, of the outfits, but your hair, your complexion, and all that, even the backgrounds you were in if you were to take a picture. Um, and so there's all those things to think about and jumble, and I think that's why people can be insecure and think about these things when they go to such events. And at the end of the day, they're just like, I'll just slap some things on, who cares what anyone says. And so that's why there's sort of a general theme that they're going for, which makes sense. And not everyone's going to get it right when it comes to design, but that's just my honest opinions. 